Yo, how to NGH. Okay, fucking hell, I'll do it. Today, we're making UK Garage like MPH and his track, Rush. This is what it sounds like. If you want to step up your production, definitely check out my UK Garage packs on my website. The link for those are in the description. My latest pack, UK Garage Volume 2, has tons of presets to cover all different styles of UK Garage. The stock presets that come with Serum are absolute dog shit, so if you want to up your production game, you're going to need to invest in some preset packs. The drop from Rush can be broken down into two easy steps, huge drums and an even bigger bass line. Let's start with the bass. The bass is split into two parts, the huge Reese bass, and then a more muted re space. We are in the key of A minor. Let's have a quick look at the notes. So we go from A sharp to B to F sharp to F. On the second half of the four bar loop, there's a second MIDI, which goes to the muted re And that is just G sharp and B. Using two different basses is a great way to engage a listener and it acts as a call and response. The call being the first bass and the response being the second. Let's open up Serum and have a look at the patch. So I've used the preset from my UK Garage Volume 2 pack. It's called Power Bank. It has two detuned saw waves and a sine wave in the sub. We then have this filter, the MG Low 18, which is on notes mode. When it's on notes mode, it means if you're playing a note which is higher up in the scale, the filter will open up more and let in more frequencies. And if the note is lower, it will let in less frequencies and cut off more high end. What I've done to get that in your face effect is add a multi-band compressor. We can see here, I clicked multi-band without it. With it. A multi-band compression splits the frequencies into different sections and then compresses them based on the different frequencies. So in this instance, it's compressing the higher frequencies a lot more than the lower ones, causing that in-your-face, over-the-top effect. If we move on to the second bass, it is exactly the same patch, but I've added this EQ, which is taken out all of the high frequencies above 310 hertz. In terms of effects, the only effects I have is this kick start, which is side chaining to the kick, and then I have this Fab Filter Saturn, which is on six band mode. I've boosted different sections. Saturn is a multi band saturator, similar to multi band compression, where you can split up the different frequencies, but instead you are saturating them instead of compressing them. Now we're gonna move on to the drums. Just like his bass lines, his drums are very in your face and powerful. We're gonna start with a big heavy kick. The one we're using today is from my drums pack. Then we're gonna to need to layer it with a heavy clap. And then another clap on top. And then a hat. And then another hat. Once you've got this rolling, then we're gonna to need to add in some offspring hats. Great, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make that offbeat hat. So firstly, go to the grid and make it a triplet grid. We then wanna drag down this hat, put it on here. If I zoom in quickly, and I show you with the triplet grid off, it doesn't really let us put it exactly where we want it. So it's important you've got it on triplet grid. I have then transposed it down by four semitones and I've clicked warp and then I've made it a little bit shorter so it's a little bit snappier. There's a few alterations you can have so you could obviously have it like this and then just have one there so and then just copy and paste that. Great now we've got that I'm going to add a loop so it adds a little bit more percussion and a little bit more movement to the sound. So I found this top loop it sounds like this. As you can hear, it's got a nice shaker. Now if we layer that on top, let's hear what it sounds like. And if I mute it. So 
So it can take a while to find a top that actually matches your drums. So this did take me a good couple of minutes to find. So don't be afraid to dig around through different sample folders and don't get frustrated if you can't find the right sound straight away. Great, let's lastly just have a look at the vocal. I've used LA, LAI to split this and it just sounds like this. Yeah. 